All right, welcome everybody to my uh, risk versus reward Galdera uh, boss fight guide. So basically in this guide, I'll just be detailing some minor things like <clears throat> who's doing what in the fight. Because all the setups and stuff I took screenshots of, so you can just like peruse those instead of me going over everything. It's pretty self-explanatory as to why I did what I did and set it up that way. Um, but the learned skills you want for Hikari are definitely these two. Divine Protection to save himself from getting one-shot gibbed. And then limb from limb because it's, it's going to be your main damage dealer. Um, yeah, everything else just doesn't matter. Um, and then for the uh, monsters, <clears throat> these are your main ones that you get from the story. But you're definitely going to be overusing Chubby Kate, King Octopuff, and then um, Brigade Bones, which you get in the uh, Lost Seed Temple, I believe it is. Lost Seed Castle, whatever it's called. And then the Headless Horseman you get in... Um, Eastern Psy Sands at night, I believe, or Ku Sands, yeah, the, this this spot right here. The dolphin you get at night anywhere on the water, or the dolphin, the fucking swordfish, I meant. Um, so let's see what else. What else does she have? Um, the ancient frog king you get in the Nameless Temple, um, which is where is that? Right here, or the Sinking Ruins? Sorry, Sinking Ruins. I'm getting all my shit mixed up. So that's where you get the Ancient Frog King, because he does Axe Damage times 2, and then he does uh, Elemental um, Defense Down, which you need for Temenos. Um, so that's always nice. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, what else? Let me see. I think that's it. Yeah, that's where you get all those ones. But yeah, the, this one does Sword Damage, but that doesn't matter, because I think it increases your, like, physical attack or something. I don't know, that one doesn't really matter too much. The ones that matter the most are these two and this one, because Brigade Bones can do anywhere from two to three shots, so he'll break um, Galdera's like, eyeball shield like pretty quick with that. And then, um, yeah, so everybody's roles are going to be uh, Hikari's dealing damage, Throne's dealing damage, but she's also going to be an item bitch, and she's got her latent power that lets her take two turns per turn if you want. Oswald is going to buff Temenos to give him um, three times uh, spells, which are going to be using his Heavenly Shine EX, because it works on the EX skill. And then Ochet's basically just going to be like a healer, debuffer, buffer, whatever, like shield breaker. Like, she's not really going to do any damage, she's just going to be there for support. And then, um, yeah, let me see uh, what the other characters are doing here. So we're just going to switch Kari into this party, and then is going to be negotiating with the boss to steal his turns, which is going to be imperative. So have a lot of coin on hand, and then you're going to be doing Aber's Reckoning with both of these two, because he's a thief as well. And he's going to be um, doing the double turn thing items. Um, Cassie's going to be uh, buffing everybody with Remedy, and she's going to be um, just using her inventor skills to do whatever she can when she can, like resurrect guys and stuff if Akari ends up eating shit. Particia also has the... Um, nun, cleric, whatever, follower with the divine protection skill and she'll like use it on the whole party and I think it nullifies damage for two turns. And then Agni is basically going to be like your heal bitch and she's going to be using her seal Tejas seduction on Hikari so he can like limb from limb the entire boss in the second phase. So kind of like the same as like Oswald is doing in this uh, group here. So just try to follow along I guess that way it'll make give give you a better understanding of what's going on in the fight. I'm not going to do this really quick either. <clears throat> I'm going to take my time and like step everybody through it. Okay, so that was a weird start. Normally doesn't like a lot of this heavy is heavily RNG based. Like Ochet never gets a first turn for me, which is like odd. It's usually like thrown a, but this is good. So Oh, that was another thing I forgot to do too. Fuck. Let's we'll switch it to nighttime. So, make sure you're on night, but, I mean, I'm not on night time, so it's not a big deal. Um, so what you're going to do right off the hop is use an energizing, energizing whatever, pomegranate on Throne A. Because she's already got her latent um, power thing going. So this is good. So you can, so what you can do is use her latent power right away. <clears throat> so Temenos is going to have his turn first before Oswald, which sucks, but that's okay. So we're not going to bother Peacock strug strutting him. Um, we'll just make up the difference with her um, health bricks, or whatever it's called. So we're going to do this on Temenos. And then we're going to use uh, Aber's, sorry, Aber's Reckoning. So that's going to do good damage. They're all going to counter-attack her, 
Um, they're going to get counter attack every time you hit them. So now you're going to do Heavenly Shine. That should wipe everybody out. Boop. Alright. What I should have did though, was probably use the fucking thing on this guy, but that's okay, no big deal. I'm always one step behind myself in these things. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so now with Ochet, we're going to break his shield. So we're going to boost her as much as we can. We're going to go to Hunter Skills, Provoke B, so we can cast five of these. So we're going to do Brigade Bones, um, one, two, three, and then we're going to do, um, probably, yeah, uh, Swordfish and then Ancient Frog King. <clears throat> yeah, that's good. So now he'll have Elemental Defense down. At least you should. Maybe there's just a chance of doing it. Anyway, that was perfect. So now scholar skills, and you're gonna go to, um, yeah, greatly and boost the intensity of a spell three times. Do this for him. Now Thorny's not gonna get it. Oh, she can actually. She, her laden, her laden thing like filled up because she got like massively damaged there. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna give um, Temenos a revitalizing jam to like just bring him up. SP and BP all the way to the top and then we can do the exact and then you know what we can do actually we can do uh, dancer skills and we can do peacock strut to boost his damage because that's way more important <clears throat> it sucks that he has two turns in a row here <clears throat> whoops so we're gonna do sacred engulfments again or F effugents whatever the hell it's called I'm dyslexic obviously Okay, so now we're gonna have, um, let's see, we might as well, you know what, we might as well just do this on ourselves, so we're gonna use another Revitalizing Jam on myself, and then we'll use Ochet to give that to Throne, and actually we're gonna use a Rejuvenating to give her two times, lots of item, heavy item use in this, so now we're going to set up Oswald again. So we're going to go latent power and we're going to use a revitalizing jam on. Actually, no, we don't even need to do that. We could just use a. Eh, we could use a. Re we can just use a, an energizing pomegranate. Yeah, just do that. Give him some BP. And then we're going to use our thief skills. We're going to use Avers again to do some more damage. Then we're going to rebuff um, Buddy there. So he has more intense spells for three more rounds. Now he's got five turns of that shit. So now Chet's pretty much like useless, so we're just going to use her as an item bitch again. And we're going to get Throne up. So we'll just do another... Um, Mm, yeah, should we? Or should we, like, save that for Oz? Nah, let's just do it on her. Yeah, okay. You know what? Actually, I want her thing full, too. So we're gonna do... Uh, let's see. Fully restores SP, HP, whatever, BP. Yeah, this one. I'm gonna do this. <clears throat> then we're gonna go cleric skills again. Do this. One of them's weak against it, so that's good. Perfect. Probably gonna need some heals soon. Another latent power. So now we're gonna wipe that fucking thing out. So we're gonna go. We have to like rejuvenate Buddy there. So we're gonna go. Uh, rejuvenate or revitalizing? Yeah, revitalizing. He's blinded, but that doesn't really matter. Then we're gonna do Abers again. Because that's all we do with her. We just spam Abers. Whatever. Thinking time. We could probably heal everybody, but I'm not going to bother. So we're going to do another Energizing Pomegranate on Throne. Actually, you know what would be better? Just using this. Now we should get two turns again. <laughs> Cleric skills again, and just do it. Secret Engulfments. Even though he's not broken, it's fine. But damage is damage. 
Latent Power again. We're going to do Avers. And then we're going to do this on him. Then we're going to go Beast Lore. And we're going, or sorry, Hunter Skills, Provoke Beast. We've got six this time, so we're going to go um, two Chubby Cates. And then we'll do um, one Brigade Bone. Um, let's see, two Brigade Bones. King Oct uh, Ancient Frog King, King Octopuff. Let's go. That'll do it. <clears throat> oh, she gave everybody a shield, so that's a that's bonus. There's no do damage for a turn or two. A turn, one turn. Uh, we break them. Nice, so now he's got Elemental and the Physical down. So now, who's coming up next? Throne? So, we're gonna do... Another one of these. So she gets two turns in a row. I don't know what that was about, but... So now we're gonna go... What we're gonna do is we're gonna go Dancer Skills, and we're gonna do Peacock Strut. Should I do Peacock Strut? Yeah, sure, what the hell. Boost his damage. Oh, I didn't use the Latent Power. Fuck. Oh, it's okay. I should have had two turns there with her. That would have been better, but no big deal. I'm making mistakes. Mistakes can be made. Um, so now we're going to use a revitalizing on him. No, Chet's pretty useless at this point. So what we're going to do is we're going to use her latent power, animal instincts. And we're going to go beastly howl. Just to lower his shit elemental defense. That's okay. This will work out better, I think. Um, so now, what good are you? Well, I guess you're good to heal, so... We'll just do one boost and heal. Get everybody topped up. Now what you can do is... Basically provoke beasts and just, I don't know, whatever. Go Brigade Bones. Would have been better if I boosted um boosted that and broke his shield again, but it's not a big deal. Okay, latent power this time, motherfucker. So we're gonna go Thieves, Abers. I don't know if this is gonna wipe him out. Yeah, that's it. So that phase is done. <clears throat> now on to the next. This is gets a little bit trickier on this one because you need Hikari up at all times. And if he goes down, it could, like, make or break the entire fight. Okay, so he's going to get two turns in a row. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to probably protect him. Because he's probably going to die. So I would boost. Yeah. And then on his next turn, probably... Yeah, okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to divine protect him for two turns so he can't get killed. Then I'm going to use an item, and I'm going to restore, let's see, do the pomegranate on Agnia, because she's going to have to synergize with him. Then use your dancer and use Seal Tija's thing to extend the reach of all attacks to Akari. <clears throat> so limb from limb will hit. Figures, he goes and fucking hits him. That's great. Alright, so latent power. So he has max boost, and what I would do at this point is, mm, let's see, yeah, I'd thief skill him, and just use Abers. It's not going to be as powerful as Throne's, but it'll do some damage at least. And then you're going to want to go m Medical Concoction, you're going to want to use two Pomegranate Leaves, Strengthening Serum, Diffusing Serum, and that gives everybody max BP, which is huge. Then you just gotta pray that like he doesn't fuck your whole party up or kill Akari, which he didn't, thank god. Then what you're gonna wanna do is, um, let's see, who's next here? So Akari's turn's coming up. So you're gonna wanna boost um, Akari with Lion's Dance. That might be a good idea. Actually, you know what? Not that much. It's too much. 
let's go one of those. And then do that. I don't know, and then Dulciana, whatever the hell her name is, comes out. And I've never done that the entire game, so it's giving me a tutorial. Um, now with Particio, you're going to want to... Um, let's see, can I negotiate with this motherfucker somewhere along the lines? I probably could. Although, actually, you know what, yeah, it'd probably be bad. This thing I never kill, so I'm gonna negotiate with this guy. So I steal his turn. Then I'm going to, um... Oh my god, I can't even use it? Fuck, you gotta be kidding me. That's bullshit. Okay, well, I'm just gonna Divine Protect everybody, because why the fuck not? Might as well not take any damage. Okay, this sucks. I don't think there's a way to get rid of that, either. Let's see, can, can anything get rid of that effect? That's not even... what is that, unconscious? What is that shit? I don't know if that is or, or not. I have no idea what the hell that status effect is. Fuck it. I'll just do what she's good at. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go... Pomegranate, pomegranate, and then strengthening, diffusing, and then this is the hidden thing, the whimsical leave, because it changes the order. Of, it'll, like, boost all your guys up one, one step. So now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try... Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna use Abers again, because I might be able to wipe these guys out. I wonder how many turns that shit lasts for. Okay, so one more turn. Okay, that's fine. So now you can do it. Okay, perfect. That wasn't bad. These are the RNGs, folks. Use limb from limb. Bam. Bam, bitch. So that was that. So now we're going to do um, Seal Tejas again on Hakari. And then Casty is going to, um, yeah, do her thing again, medical concoction, her cheeseness. Two pomegranates, a strengthening and diffusing, and then a whimsical leaf. I mean, why not? What the hell? Doesn't really matter. Then, we can't negotiate with this guy, so what we're going to do is we're going to summon, and we're going to use the cleric again, to make sure that we just stay alive. Because why not? More divine protection. So, this is pretty much going to be the end of this mofo. Now we're going to go limb from limb again. Yeah, he's not going to last much longer. Um, then we're going to... I don't even know, man. It doesn't even matter at this point. Hmm. Let's see. Lion's Dance. Then we're going to go... Actually, this time... Actually, no, yeah, we're going to have to do that again. So, Pomegranate, Pomegranate. Dun, dun, whimsical. And we're all boosted up again. Now, what you can do with him is really cheese the shit out of this. And go negotiate schedule. And steal all of his turns. Basically, if you have the coin for it. Well, you can steal one of his turns anyway. Um... I don't know, what can I do with him? Let's see... I don't want to do Hired Help. Mm, yeah, I don't know, maybe I could. But not the Foreign Assassin. Mm, yeah, I could do this. Works for me. He's toast now, anyway. Yeah, bye. You're dead. For the pride of Koo. So yeah, it may take a couple tries to get that going. I did that during the daytime too. If you do it at night, it's even easier because you have Thronies and um, Temenos's, uh debuffs at night. I don't know if they actually work, but that's what I was that's what I was reading anyway. But that's the end of it. So good luck to you on that.